boy toy? I have one too. None of this is my fault. He made me control Superman. What's his name? He calls himself Hush. The events of the past months reach as high as Superman and as low as the Joker. All were set into motion by Hush. <laughs> Hi, this is Mark Morell from it's Toon. So good to see you again. <laughs> I just want to say that, like, I got to see Mark when I was doing the Lego Joker in DC, and I just want to say how good it is to see you again. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. All right, so we're here at the 50th anniversary of San Diego Comic Con. Yeah, crazy, right? And we're here on Toon Barn. Yes. And we're and talking about you playing the Joker yes. in Batman Hush. Yes, this not Jason the Lego Joker, but like the legit Joker, Joker, yeah. and. Uh, this is something I've always wanted to do. I've, I've said it multiple times. I've, I've got a joker in me and uh, got a chance to let it out. And Batman Hush, which is an incredible graphic novel, like an incredible um, set of art and a story. And getting it to do the joker on this is especially pleasing because it is a rogues gallery of villains and everyone's here and it's a whodunit and you're not sure it's a true detective comic you know comic and it's like wow what a gift you know so i'm super pleased and are we allowed to tell everybody you're not really you're not really committing a crime in this one are you well you can't tell anybody that i absolutely not i mean you, you if, if i will let go of no spoilers <laughs> it could still be the joker but it is a surprising place that the joker finds himself in because when the audience first sees him you're like He's not sure if Batman's joking. Is he being serious? Is he angry with me? What have I done? He's not sure. And that's not a place you usually see the Joker. So it's a little off-putting to feel the Joker in that. And then he moves right into, you know, getting into Batman's crawl the way he always does. And uh, so it's... And Jim Gordon has to actually talk him down, doesn't he? It's so brutal. That scene is so wonderful. I, as an actor, there's a few scenes that you take with you in your memory as some of the greatest scenes that you've ever got, have been lucky enough to play, and that's one of them. The alley scene is one of them, so, yeah. Well, I want to thank you for joining us on Toon Barn here at San Diego Comic Con. My pleasure, my pleasure, Mark. This man is uh, kind of famous from Young Justice. He brings you the Joker this evening, Jason Spizak! I mean, that is always hard when you're, you're following in the footsteps of people like Mark Hamill and their voices are iconic, but you have to imagine your own character. You can't help but just, as an actor, try to put your own spin on whatever material you're given. And the material's amazing. I mean, this adaptation is incredible. Ernie did an amazing job, and Hush it all. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I mean, no, seriously, and you, this rogues gallery, you've put enough time in for everybody. So, when I close my eyes and I hear the voice of the Joker of when I read the comic books when I was younger, before I ever heard anyone's voice, that was what I wanted everyone to hear. And so that's what they got. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, this does not look good, does it? Joker. You know what the joke is here? I'm totally innocent. Ugh, that doesn't even sound right, does it? <laughs> Batsy, I was in a basement until five minutes ago. I'm also looking for Harley. Have you seen her? <laughs> 